Hello my friends, welcome again. This is going to be the last part. So I have uh, created the dashboard and we can create, uh, edit and delete uh, listings. We have a pagination, we have a search and all of that. So it's time now to do the last Thing. We, I want to display all the listings here and after that we can click and uh, watch the show the single listing okay I have opened the VS code and first I'm going to open the terminal and artisan make controller listing controller okay close this one and open the listing controller now and here I'm going to create a method index and grab all the listings so listings is going to be listing order by created at and is is going to be desk okay Paginate by 12. Okay, and here we can return a view. We don't have the view, but I'm going to create one. So it's going to be inside the listings directory. And we're going to call it index. And we can pass the listings here. Okay, uh, we need to import the listing app model listing and save now. Open the folders and inside the view, I'm going to create a new folder here. Call it listings and inside new file call it uh, index dot blade dot php x guest layout I think it's with uh, and the uh, guest layout is uh, yeah, it has only the de default slot and has the app CSS, which is uh, tied in CSS because we have installed the jet stream. Okay. Here, what I want to do is to display all the listings and we can do a div with a class of uh, container and makes auto and I'm going to close this one and add here a section with class margin2 and padding2 and bg is going to be gray 100 okay here here we to add the ul and we need to make a for each here for each the listings as listing and li here we display the listing name 
I save and open the web.php so, and here we can register a route I'm going to use this one and add the listing controller here class and the method is index and name is going to be listings.index okay save come here and refresh and yeah we have all the listings here and now we're going to search for the Tailwind CSS list list group okay maybe web Tailwind CSS and we have some uh, I'm going to use this one so in the ally we can add the this one here index and li add the class sorry okay save and refresh yeah here is our listings you can uh, make your uh, design but for just for quick uh, demonstration okay now here I'm going to make this uh, ashraf a link because when we click here I'm going to show the single listing okay and the we don't have the route now I'm going to create one now so come here and copy this paste and I copy add it down there add the listing And this is going to be the show method. And the name is going to be show. Okay, save this one. And we don't need this one anymore. So come here and create that method. Okay, show method. And he expect um, a listing. So I'm going to use the listing, the road model binding. okay and just return the view listings I'm going to create this one show and add the listing okay save and come here and we have the list index create new one for the show show blade.php and come here copy and pass it here and uh, this one is free so copy this one and come here uh, when you have in and then need indent okay save this one uh, come here and now we have the road here you know uh, this road get listing we name it uh, listings show and we can add use here so road 
listings dot show and uh, save come here refresh listings that show yeah sorry friends i want to make this uh, video quick and for that we need to add the listing id here save because here we are expecting a parameter okay now come here and refresh yeah and here is the listings when we click we go here and for now we display some random things but we have to change this to listing details remove the paragraph and I'm going to open the table plus to see what what we have so open the listing database and the listings has name address website email phone and bio okay so here is the name I'm going to display the listing name and this uh, variable is from the controller here okay listing name and oh, sorry this need to be here and the name is going to be here so we have a name uh, address website this is going to be the address and okay here is the email address I'm going to leave it as it is and we can add the listing email I'm going to copy this one and add it the website and add website here and what we have we have a phone okay add the phone here and what and here yeah is the bio and display the bio here okay we don't need the attachment remove this one save and come here refresh and yeah listing details name listing number four address uh, website uh, email phone and bio and if we want to make this uh, the website a link we can cut this one and make a link href and pass it here and also pass it here this one okay save come here and refresh and now we can go to the we have the clicking event we can make I'm going to add class here class for the text blue 400 and maybe text uh, not text but font font bold or semi bold and if I save come here uh, refresh yeah here we have the link 
also we can do with the email address so copy this one cut, cut this one and href mail to and pass the mail also add the mail here and close the anchor tag and so we need to add the class here save and refresh and now we can send the email okay so if i click and this is for the the end of the video the end of the series i hope you enjoy uh, comment down there and i'm going to do the best to reply you okay so all the best if you like uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next series thank you very much